Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a background video component using Next.js. I remember when I first started Next.js, one of the biggest issues I faced was being able to bring in video elements into my project. And I noticed at the time when I was trying to research this topic, there weren't too many resources online to help me. So that's why I've gone ahead to create this video. And another really cool thing about this video background is that it's completely responsive. So no matter what screen size you're using, the video will be able to work with it no matter what. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the video. Awesome. So before we get straight into the video, there's a couple of things you're going to need. The first thing is you're going to need Node and NPM installed on your computer. I'll leave a link in the description which will show you how to do that. Once you have that installed, another thing that we're going to need is a NPM package, which is called Next Videos. Uh, this package allows us to bring in video files really easily into a Next.js project. I'll leave the link in the description, which is, or you can copy it here if you want um, down below. Um, so yeah, just keep that in mind. So make sure you have Node, NPM, and also be aware of this package here. And finally, if you don't want to start from scratch and if you want to get access to my files or the original files that are used in this video, I'll leave a link in the description which will take you to my website. And on my website, you'll get access to the GitHub repository, which will contain the video file or the coding files that we're going to bring in to this tutorial. And yeah, that's basically it. So without further ado, uh, let's jump straight into it. So the first step you want to do is to come over to your terminal. And what we want to do is we want to create a new Next.js project. So in order to do that, what you want to type in is npx create next app. And then we want to give it a title. Let's call it background video, hit enter. And what will happen now is it should start to install all the packages for you. So let's just wait a bit. And here we go. It will give you a couple prompts of what you need. Um, so the first one, what you want to type in is Y for yes and hit enter. That should start installing stuff. Would you like to use TypeScript in this video? Yes, we're going to use it. Do we want to use this? Yes. Do we want to use Tailwind CSS? Not for this video. Do we want to use source as the directory? Let's hit yes. The app router, it doesn't really matter, but for the sake of it, let's go yes. For this one, we want to go uh, no. And then what will happen now is it will start to install all the packages for us. And what we'll do now is we'll let it load and give it some time. Perfect. So what you should have now is a success um, message that pops up. And once that's completed and you have no errors, the next thing you want to do is you want to um, get into this folder. So in order to do that, just type in CD and then background video after doing that we are now inside the background video folder and once you've done that the next step is to start up our server so in order to do that all you need to do is to type in npn run dev and what will happen now is it will start and it will give you a local host of 3000 um, if you want to get access to that you just control and click here it is it's working we have the file that we need um, and yeah, that's exactly what we need. So once we've done that, the next thing we want to do is to come over to our source file here and we want to go into the page.tsx here. And the next step we want to do is everything within the main uh, div we want to delete. So let's delete all of this. Next step is we want to save it. And we also want to delete this image up here just so we've got a blank file to work with. If we go back into that file, it should be blank like so. Perfect. Awesome. So once we've got that, the next step is we want to bring in our video file. I've downloaded this video file off pexels.com or if you have your own video file, that's absolutely fine. So what you want to do is to come over to the public folder here and I'm just going to drag it in to here. And yes, here it is. This is the video background that we'll be using for this tutorial. It's working perfect. What we want to do is to close that up. Awesome. So once you have your video installed, the next step that we want to do is we want to start 
to bring in the package for the video. So we're able to bring it into this file here. Um, in order to do that, what we want to do is go back to that website I showed you, which is the NPM package for next videos. What we want to do now is we want to copy this link here. Um, exactly like we've done here. We'll close that up. We want to go back into our a new terminal and we want to type in CD and take it back to the background video folder that we created. And once you've done that, we can type that command in like so. Give it a bit of time for it to install. Perfect. So once that is installed, we can go back into our node terminal just so we can keep track of any errors. And the next step from there is you want to go back into the next video's npm uh, package here. And this uh, line of code here, what we want to do is we want to copy this, go back into our uh, VS code, and then we want to go into the next config here. And underneath here, what we're going to do is we want to paste that in here and we want to save it. And what will happen now is it will restart the server. Um, but as you can see, it's passed. So what we can do now is go back into here, refresh just to make sure it's working. Yep, and it appears to be working still. This is good. This is exactly what we want. And once we've done that, we can start to build out our file here. Awesome. So what we want to do is we want to open up this div here and we want to create a new div with the class name of styles.main. And the reason I'm using the styles is because it's connected to this CSS file here. And inside here is where we'll start to do all our styling. So what we can do now is we can delete all of this and just keep the main up here. Save that, go back into here just to make sure it's working. Yep, no errors, it's looking good. Come back into here. And instead of typing in main, we want to put in contents, like so. And within contents, we want to give it a H1. And this H1 will call the title of the background. Once we've done that, what we also want to do is we want to bring in some buttons as well. So let's just do that here. Make it plural. And then we also want to give two buttons. So one will be called our work and then the other one can be called our story. Like so. Awesome. Once we have this set up, the next thing we want to bring in is the actual video. So in order to do that, what we can do is go back into the NPM package and you'll notice they have a line of code here for us to use. So what we want to do is to just bring in this line here. We can copy that. Um, so let's put the video here. And we want to direct it to the public folder. So I'm going to do that right now. So public and it's called video.mpm4. We'll save that. And then what we also want to do is we want to add in a few more keywords. So the first one is autoplay. So the video um, plays automatically. We want to make sure there's no sound to it. We want to put it on a loop as well. And then let's give it a class name called styles.video. Save that. And if we go back into our file, we should start to see our H1 tag, our two buttons, and of course our background video. And that's starting to look really good. So now that we've got the skeleton of our project sorted, the next step um, is to go straight into the CSS, which is this one here, page.module.css. And from here, we can start to manipulate the styles. So the first thing we want to target is the H1 tag. So what we can do is if we go back into page, the H1 is within our contents div here. So what we can do is copy this, um, type in dot contents and H1. And with the H1, we want to give it a text transform of uppercase. 
We want to give the color of it as white. We want to give it a letter spacing of 1.5 rem. We want to give it a font weight of 500 so it's not too heavy. We want to give it a padding of 2 rem to the top and bottom, 0 for the left and right. We also want to give it a font size of 2 rem. And if we save that, go back into our file. This is what it's starting to look like. That looks really good. Let's go back into our file here. Um, the next thing we want to do is we want to target the buttons container, which is this one here. So I'll just quickly grab that. So dot buttons. And with the dot buttons, we want to give it a display of flex, align items to center and justify content to center. That way it's, it's directly in the middle of the page. And then what we can do now is target each individual button. So let's do that now. Want to give it a padding of 1.5 rem for the top and bottom, two for the left and right. Um, we want to give it a margin of zero for the top bottom and one rem for the left and right. Want to give it a background color of transparent. We also want to give it a border and let's put in solid white and give it one pixel. Um, the font size itself, we want to give it 12 pixels. The color, we also want to give it uh, white. The text transform, again, we want to capitalize it or uppercase rather. We also want to give it a letter spacing of 0 0.5 rem. And we also want to give it a, tr a transition of 0 0.25 seconds, targeting only the background color. Save that. After doing that, we want to give it a hover effect. So buttons, button, hover and we want to give it a background color of white the color to black we also want the transition to be the exact same here so i'm just going to copy that into here and then we want to give it a cursor of pointer awesome so those are for the text and the buttons the final step is to manipulate the actual video component here and the idea is we want to put it directly into the background of this here. So in order to do that is what we want to do is to go back into our page.tsx file here. What we want to do is to target the class name, which is video. So let's grab that. And with video for the position, we want to give it a position of absolute. Set the top to zero. We also want to give it a Z index of negative one, just so it's behind the contents here. The width itself, we want to give it 100%. The height, we want to give it 100%. And to those wondering how to make a responsive, there's this really cool line of code you can use called object fit. And we want to give it a cover value like so. So if we go back into our file, you'll notice that we have our contents here, which are working perfectly. And we have our background video here. In order to put everything to the center, what we can do now is scroll directly up to the main. And what we can do now is justify content to center, align items to center. And we also want to set the overflow to hidden. And if we save that, and if we go back into our file, everything's directly in the center. We have these really cool buttons that work like so. And another really cool thing about it is it's completely flexible so, mat so no matter what size it's in the video will work um, exactly on whatever screen size so yeah that's basically the end of the video i hope you guys learned something again if you are struggling i do have a link in the description which will take you to my github repository and that way you can get access to all these files really easily um, and without further ado i will catch you guys in the next one see you later